For sports, sponsored by Alpha Insurance. Welcome back. We showed you what went down today at Wallace State. There were also teams battling for regional titles here at Jacksonville State. Action kicked off early this morning. 5A Girls Northeast Regional Final. Gunnersville versus Sardis. Wildcats up eight in the third. Hungry for more. Ivy Marsh finds space to lay it in. Gets the line too. Gunnersville up 21-10. But the lead was big for the Wildcats. Marsh lines up the triple and hits. Gunnersville takes the victory. Win number 16 in a row for the Wildcats. Final score, 42-12. to The boys team had a chance to take home a regional title as well. The Wildcats went up against the Ramsey Rams. Gunnersville down seven early, but Tucker Leach flipped that around, connects from downtown. Wildcats still trailing, nine to five. Next possession, Gunnersville can pull to within one. Back to Leach, other side of the arc, drains another. Gunnersville down nine to eight, but Ramsey hung tough. And the Rams started to pull away. Loose ball scooped up by Ramsey. Jalen Jones in transition finishes at the rim. The Wildcats can't pull off the sweep. The Gunnersville boys fall to Ramsey 65-56. Over to 2A, the girls championship. Spring Garden versus Pisgah. Eagles down three in the second quarter. Campbell Barron lets it fly and nails a triple. Tie game at 18. Third quarter, Pisgah now up three. Looking for insurance, dished to the corner. Molly Holcomb, cash. 39-33, Eagles. Finishing touches, Lila Kate Wheeler all alone. Bullseye. Pisgah moves on. The Eagles win the 2A Northeast Regional title. Final score, 64-52. A thriller in the 2A Boys Championship, section versus midfield. Lions trailing much of the game, down six in the third, looking to cut into the deficit. Drake McCutcheon with a good look, cans a tray. Section still trailing, 27-24. Later in the quarter, Patriots back up seven. Shooters getting hot, Alex Gwynn tees it up. Bucket, team high, 22 points for Gwynn. Lions still down four at that point. One possession game, Lions can tie it with a three. Logan Patterson from distance, clutch. That tied it at 33, and Section didn't look back from there. The Lions pull the upset. They stun the Patriots, Section moving on. Final score, 55-52. Finally in 1A, the girls' championship, Decatur Heritage and Skyline. Lady Eagles already down big in the third. Kana King finds Blakely Stuckey for the open three. Vikings open up a 21-point advantage. Opportunity to pad the lead. King lines it up in the same spot and gets the same result. Skyline advances. The Vikings take home the 1A Northeast Regional title. Final score, 52-34. Last game of the day, Decatur Heritage boys taking on Faith Christian. Boys Northeast Regional title on the line. Early in the game, Lions set the tone. Yashua Arevalo lets it go from the top of the perimeter. 6-2 Faith Christian. And they would go on a run. Ball finds Colton Pommen open on the wing, and he splashes home the triple. That opened up a 14-point first quarter lead for Faith Christian. But Decatur Heritage was resilient. Came all the way back in the second half. Early in the fourth, Braden Kyle receives the entry pass, lays home the easy two. Four point advantage for the Eagles. The Lions had a chance to tie it at the line. Arvalo missed the pair. The Eagles soar all the way back. They take the regional championship. Final score 43 41. Just a fun day of basketball here in Jacksonville. So the regional champs are set. Birmingham is next. From Jacksonville State University, Jonah Carp. Fox 54 Sports.